What's up, everybody? Uh, I want to talk to you guys about a couple of uh, diseases that I guess aren't really common, but you're going to see them uh, eventually if you do this long enough. Uh, I've got two sick fish here, and I want to show you, uh, you know, what they look like, what's going on with them, uh, what we're doing to treat them, and uh, look at the meds, that kind of stuff. So let's flip this thing around. Take a look. Here we go. No joke. These are my meds. <laughs> got a lot going on here. Uh, different things. We got Prazapro. Uh, this one right here is just a slime coat. Uh, it's also a dechlorinator. Not that we use that much. Uh, this one here is one that we're going to talk about right now. Um, erythro erythromycin uh, for bacterial infections. And uh, where's the other one? Mm. Oh, the other one's over here. <coughs> this is a general cure. Um, there's a few companies that make this. I buy this stuff on uh, eBay. But general cure, um, basically any fish that you get from the fish store, you're going to use these three things when you're quarantining. Yes, we're in my shop. Take a look around. <laughs> Tools everywhere. Uh, Riddick, uh, General Cure, and the Erythromycin. Uh, I don't know what I did with the box. Um, so we're, we're tackling three things here. Riddick, it's pretty self-explanatory. We're treating to make sure that we don't get ick. Uh, if we do get ick, we're also using this to treat that. And then we're using the API for the bacterial infection. And we're using the general par parasitic cure for parasites. So what are we treating in which tank? Let's take a look. All right, so this Bolivian ram right here is gonna be our first subject. I want you to look at his belly. Uh, you see his belly is sunken in. Now sunken in's belly, 99% uh, of the time is a parasite. So your fish has a parasite and you're gonna to wanna to use the general, general parasite cure. Um, directions are on these very small letters. I have terrible eyesight, so uh, follow the directions on the bottle uh, when you're using that. Now, this next guy, this is a uh, red fin, red fin proculatus. Uh, poor little dude took a tumble out of the tank, and you can see he's infected. So we're using the erith erythromycin to uh, bring him back. Uh, he's probably going to stay in here, I'm guessing, a month or so till we bring him back uh, to health. This is an expensive fish to lose. Not only that, but he's adorable and he's awesome. Uh, he took a dive out of the 240. Uh, these fish do jump. Lids are recommended on their tanks. But since he's all beat up, he's not going anywhere. Uh, and when he starts to look better, we're going to go ahead and, you know, uh, treat him accordingly get it get a tank on the lid or a lid on the tank that kind of thing you can see the poor dude it almost looks like you know like a fungus buildup you can see it there um there are bacterial fungal infections that's what's going on with this guy i'm sure he's in a lot of pain but we're treating him we're trying to get him better uh these two tanks are both going to get a daily water change one of these right here will treat 10 gallons so try and get it into the smallest gallon uh tank you can and that's why we use these little 10 gallon tanks like this. And we have a whole rack here. See, whole rack, full. <laughs> uh, these here are John's Cooley Loaches. These guys are being uh, treated. They're actually going in the tank tomorrow. They're coming out of prison. Uh, that one is empty, that one is empty. Somebody dropped some mollies off to me, so they're sitting in there. Uh, that's actually a shrimp tank. Uh, they're blue really shrimp. That one is empty, that one has uh, cherry shrimp breeding in it, and that one is empty. Uh, so for instance, I have an order coming in on Friday. I'm gonna take and, you know, obviously I won't touch these two tanks. This tank should be empty and I have another batch of loaches going in here, coolie loaches. And then we'll go ahead and use these two, uh, that one and that one. And we're gonna treat all three of these meds that we just talked about right here. So. Uh, this is when you get your fish from a pet store. 
Most of them aren't going to quarantine, especially the big box stores. So make sure that you're doing that for yourself. Uh, you don't want the issue where you bought a fish, it has ick, you threw it in your main tank, and boom, all your fish now have ick or parasite or a fungal infection, uh, bacterial infection, whatever the case may be. Be responsible with your fish keeping. Uh, these guys are in your hands now. So uh, these are the three things that I use. Riddick Plus um, General Parasite Cure. There's also a General Cure and the Erythromycin by API. Those three things will pretty much cure 90% of your fish diseases that are commonly introduced to your tank. So anyway guys, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe at the button right there. We'll talk to y'all later. Peace.